I was in Helena, Montana, which is the capital of Montana. And I had a little opening at the Holter Museum um, last night and uh, drove back this morning. And uh, basically it's the work in Dusty Diablos. Uh, most of it is anyway. So it's having a little opening. Um, got to meet the lieutenant governor. He came by for my talk. That was very nice. And um, anyway, so um, on my way back, I, I, had a, I had a job to do. I had a friend of mine, Marlise Borchers, who um, she's a ceramicist, and she wanted me to pick up some clay at the Archie Bray. Now, the Archie Bray is in Helena, just outside of Helena, in fact, um, but it's an old um, brickyard, and um, uh, they used to make bricks there, and then in the 1950s, they set up a, essentially, they set up a, um, a ceramic retreat, a place um, for residencies and remote ceramic arts, and, and really has quite um, a noble history behind it, and just a wonderful, beautiful place, because the setting is just you know, looks out in the Rocky Mountains, and um, as you wander the grounds, what is really amazing, you wander these grounds, and there's just the most amazing pieces of ceramics, you know, all over the, all over the, the property, just, you know, in the bushes and, and here and there, and um, in many ways, it's almost as if you're coming across an archaeological find. Um, when you wander through things, some things seem like they're discarded and they're just willy-nilly laying in the stuff. And, and many of these items that you actually see are by very renowned ceramic artists, you know, just laying about. And um, artists such as Rudy Adio, who was very involved with it. Rudy Adio was a Montana artist who died a few years back, um, but used to teach at the University of Montana here in Missoula. And also Peter Volkus, many of you who are in the ceramic arts probably are familiar with Peter Volkus' um, work, um, but he's also been very much a part of, or was when he was alive, very much a part of the Archie Bray. But really a wonderful, wonderful place, and I couldn't have had a better day. It was in terms of just the, um, the, the leaves were just beautiful golden, golden colors. The, the, the air was just a lovely crisp, the sky was blue. It was just, it was a good day. And... Um, so it was nice to wander the grounds and come across strange little things and um, in the bushes and and here and there and everywhere. So um, if you ever get a chance, um, wander out that way. Of course, it'd be awesome if you're a ceramic artist to try and get a residency there. And I'm honestly not sure what the actual process is, though. I would say just you know if you go to um, do a site, you know, do a search on Google and look up Archie Bray. I'm sure they have all the information. But uh, yeah, just a just a really great great place. And um, I, I, if you ever make it out to Helena, I, I thoroughly encourage you to go wander the grounds and just get a sense of the place because it is, it is truly magical. It's a, it's a magical experience. So um, thanks Marlies for sending me out there to do, uh, to pick up your clay because it made for a nice, a nice way to spend the morning. So thanks for stopping by. See you guys.